from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a huge, huge day for June 18th, 2022, as Americans are losing confidence in the Federal Reserve and its raising of interest rates. And now more Americans believe what I've been reporting for several months that the raising of interest rates will not reduce inflation and that raising of interest rates will head you into recession. The president addressed the questions in a new series of comments yesterday. I'll have the president's new interview and it's important to not wait to get that four stimulus check in every US state today because the situation is gonna be very different in just less than 90 days. Step one, become a member. Step two, go into this video's link where it says join this channel and become a member and get the newsletter that everyone is talking about. The newsletter that has those incredible four stimulus checks in every US state and gives you guidance on where this economy is going. Where is this economy going? In less than 90 days, you're gonna see the downward spiral of this US economy from relatively good times of February to very bad times of September. But that is not step one. Step two, actually phase three, is the recession. The recession will start in early 2023, January no less, and that will be a two-year recession. And today we're gonna to analyze why the comments from Jay Powell are absolutely incorrect and why he continues to double down by saying things like he's getting inflation down to 2% late this year when no one is getting gasoline prices down. And gasoline is what depends inflation. Then we'll be looking at the great news of your benefits. Your benefits are going up, and if you're a member, they are in the membership newsletter because it's very, very fascinating. It is dependent upon that CPI, which is also dependent upon gasoline. We saw that number last Friday, and we'll be analyzing where that number will be going while your benefits are finally going up. We got a big afternoon, and also we look back on where things went wrong, why people did not tell you they were making mistakes. Bitcoin today is under $20,000 a coin. People had said it was going to go to 100,000. People said they were going to cash out and do really well. Wrong notions, wrong advice, and we'll analyze what went wrong with those people and that advice. But the great news is that there's a force on check in every U.S. state, and we're getting it today on America's Most Loved Show at the Midday. It's Afternoons for June 9th, 18th, 2022. <laughs> And good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is June 18th, 2022, from the shores of Santa Monica, California. I hope you're having a beautiful day. We got a lot of money to go over. Did you become a member on this channel yet? You better, because a force stimulus check is in every U.S. state. And later in this recording, we're going to go over those incredible checks that are in the member newsletter and the raising up of your benefits as well. We have a lot of money coming up in today's recording, and if you're new to L.A., welcome. I'll tell you what we do on this channel. This is America's number three most watched financial news channel in America. In the next 90 days, we will making them be making the move to head to number two, with big changes coming to this channel. Every video does three things. It tells you where this economy is, where the economy is going, and gets you money. So where is the economy today? Currently, the economy is what I call phase one. It's a downward spiral of this economy, from the relatively good times of February to the really bad times of September, which brings us to the second part of the recording. What's going on with this economy? Where we're headed? We're heading in a downward spiral, and it'll go under two phases. It'll go under the current phase, heading into September, and then September to January, that third phase is recession. We have new guidance today from the American people. The American people are very savvy, as you are as well. And they are no longer buying into the narrative from Jay Powell. It took a little while, and we had talked about this back in March, that when Jay Powell said he's going to raise interest rates to reduce inflation, I said it's not going to work because the Inflation currently is caused by supply chain, and that supply chain, very simply, is gasoline. Raising interest rates does not reduce the price of gasoline at the pump. And 
I said at that time, I wonder when the American, I wonder when the American public are going to catch on and lose faith in Jay Powell. That loss of faith is starting to kick in right now. In comments from the White House yesterday, the President of the United States was really angry and said, why are you blaming me? And it's very interesting because we talked about this a few weeks ago. Ultimately, the president's going to get blamed for what Jay Powell does because people don't understand really who Jay Powell is unless you're a viewer of this channel. They may not even know who Jay Powell is. He's head of the Federal Reserve. And by raising interest rates to do something that doesn't do, he's sending you into recession. And who's going to get blamed? The President of the United States. Absolutely. Let me go over what's going on right now. The President of the United States was in the Oval Office yesterday, and he was asked a series of questions. And he was basically asked about recession, inflation, and this economy. First, he was asked, is a recession inevitable? Meaning, are we definitely going to recession? He says, first of all, it's not inevitable. Pause. Let's analyze that analysis right now. Is a recession inevitable or not inevitable? It is inevitable if you do not get down the price of gasoline. Price of gasoline sustained at the current levels will send you a recession. In fact, I said back in the month of March, at $5 a gallon, it sends you a recession by the month of May. Well, guess where we are right now? We're higher than that. So that means we're definitely going to recession. Well, let's make this very clear. The president has had the opportunity to get gasoline, 3.5 million barrels of gasoline missing per day. He's had the opportunity to get it. He hasn't gotten it bought. And if he doesn't, recession is inevitable. We'll be going over that gasoline later this according. Let's go to the second part of the president's comments in the last 24 hours. Then he says, second of all, we're in a stronger position than any other nation in the world to overcome this inflation. A yes and no. I mean, yes, we have a lot of money in the bank as a, as a country. We're the richest country in the world, one of the richest countries in the world. So we can buy gasoline really quickly. And that would bring down inflation. Absolutely. Also, we have a really group, great group of people. Janet Yellen is a great negotiator. She did that great negotiating with the Western Allies earlier this year. So she can negotiate the deal for the oil right away. So yes, we are in a very strong position. But are we in a strong position to get down the price, get down inflation? Economically, no. Economically, we're not in a better position to get inflation down. Then he says, "In my fault is is it my fault? Why is it this case that every other major industrial country in the world that inflation is higher? Ask yourself that. I'm not being a wise guy. <laughs> There's a little attitude in that comment. You see that? Is he being a little bit of a wise guy? Uh, depends on how you define wise guy. Uh, I think he is. <laughs> I think he is. Let's be very clear. The reason we have inflation is because the Western allies banned Russian oil and did not have oil lined up to replace it." So uh, <laughs> let's read that quote again. Why is every major other industrial country in the world having inflation higher? Because they also did the same thing we did. We banned Russian oil, and then we did not have a replacement backed up. Ask yourself that. Well, I, I don't have to ask myself that. I know the answer. If you ban oil and you don't have a replacement, then everyone's getting worse. Now, let's be very frank. The situation is much worse in other countries because they were more dependent on Russian oil than we were before this Putin invasion of Ukraine occurred. So Italy, Germany, France, you know, a lot of those countries have seen massive problems with inflation, far worse than ours. And their recession will be far worse than ours. The Bank of England just yesterday said they're looking at 10% inflation in England in December, even after five interest rate hikes. Then the president says that be confident because I will be confident they'll be positioned, will be better positioned than any country in the world in the second quarter of the 21st century. That's not a hyperbole, it's, it's a fact. Well, yeah. After we go through a recession, we'll be in a better country than we were before. Yeah, but that's not really what the point is. The Federal Reserve also um, had some comments yesterday. In fact, that guy, there he is again, Jay Powell. Jay Powell speaking yesterday. Remember, Jay Powell was a Trump appointee who was then chosen by Joseph Biden. Uh, and Jay Powell is is the Fed is the head of the of the series of Fed governors. They collectively have to agree upon everything, and they're collectively agreeing upon nonsense. <laughs> they're collectively agreeing upon nonsense. What is that nonsense? That you're going to raise interest rates to battle inflation, it, it, to battle inflation. When the inflation is caused by gasoline, raising interest rates does that prevent people from buying gasoline? Does that reduce the price of gasoline at the pump? Of course, it does not. That's just pure silliness. The other part of the pure silliness is Jay Powell's statement yesterday. Comedy hour? Yeah. He's trying to, he's, you know, he's touring the United States. He'll have a Las Vegas show very soon. He says, we are, my colleagues and I, which is a way to say the Federal Reserve, are actually very focused on returning inflation to, a two, to our 2% objective. 
you know, that's really nice. And I'm very focused on the Lakers winning the world championship. But, you know, it's not happening this season. <laughs> it's just not happening this season. Yeah, no, maybe you're very focused on Phaedra returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's not happening this season. So, <laughs> you know, you can say what you want, Chad. You ain't getting inflation down to 2%. Now, what's important today is not so much his nonsense as the reaction to the nonsense. Back in February this year, I said, none of the stuff he's doing is going to work. And I'm wondering how long it's going to take for the American people to realize that. Well, it didn't take very long because now we're in the month of June. Now the American people have really changed the course. Many people may, may have not known who Jay Powell was, may have never heard of the Federal Reserve earlier this June. And now they realize, wait, back in February, now they realize so there's something going wrong with this economy. And why is interest rates going higher? Oh, it's the Federal Reserve. Who's head of that? Oh, Jay Powell. What is he doing? He's trying to raise interest rates uh, to reduce the price of gasoline. Uh, price of gasoline is because we don't have enough gasoline. Everyone understands that one. What's Jay Powell doing? And now today, the latest and that reports out say that one, consumer confidence is dramatically down. Two, that people no longer really believe what's coming out of Jay Powell's mouth. Finally, number three that people do no longer believe that Jay Powell has the tools in his toolbox, what, whatever toolbox there is, to get inflation down. And number four, they believe Jay Powell sent you in a session. They believe it. So it's a really big change for the American electorate, who are very smart people, you're very smart, that you finally realize there's something going wrong, and then you're trying to figure out why is it going wrong. And it's this guy. I saw some of your comments about Jay Powell in the live chat yesterday. I can't say them on air, but basically the comments from the viewers were, he needs to be removed from office. They all need to be removed from office. Let's go over what you need to know starting today, which is that you got to get that force stimulus check in every U.S. state. You got to get that force stimulus check in every U.S. state. I care about you greatly. I care about you adamantly. I know you. You know me. We know each other. We're a community here. And we care about one another. And I want to make something brand new clear for today's broadcast for June 18th, 2022. You know, I, I try to keep my antennas up sort of like an ant. <laughs> Just I look a little bit better than an ant, usually. Uh, <laughs> try to keep my antennas up. And I try to look and see what else is happening out there. And one thing I'm starting to see that's happening out there, and I could certainly see this happening later this year, is that people who do not watch this channel are going to suddenly feel the economic pressures of this downward spiral of this economy and then expect Washington to bail them out. Let me make this very clear. I believe that the American electorate has been sort of used to, comforted into the notion of if things go bad, there's money for me from the federal government. Because I was put on lockdown, the federal government took me took care of me. Well, I was still on lockdown, the federal government took care of me. We came out for lockdown, the federal government took care of me. I'm going to recession, the federal government's going to take care of me. Uh, I don't know that. Do you know that? And I do believe that some people are in that mindset that there'll always be the federal government to take care of them as the rest of this year continues and next year. I know you don't think that. I know you don't think that because there's too much bad going on in this economy and that you absolutely cannot be in a mindset that the federal government's going to take care of you. So we talk about it as laziness. We talk about it as complacency. We talk about it as donut guy. We talk about it as a lot of different things. You have to take the initiative to take care of you and you cannot sit around and think that someone is taking care of you from the federal government. Because this economy is really going to hell in a hell basket really quickly. So the great news is that I'm here to take care of you. The viewers are here to take care of one each other. The whole spirit of this channel is for people to take care of one another. And it starts by getting that force to most check in every U.S. state. Step one, become a member. Step two, get an incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. And step three, staying with me for the second half of this video when and go over these incredible checks. Three things you must do right today if you've not been doing this or if you're a new member of this channel, if you just found this channel this weekend, welcome, is you need to get caught up quickly on what this economy is right now. You need to get caught up on where this economy is going and you need to get money. And guess how you're going to do that? You're going to watch this video. It's going to be all covered in this video. Phase one is currently underway. And phase one is the downward spiral of this economy from February this year to September. It's going to be very, very quick 
turnaround time from very decent, good, or pleasant times of February to very bad times in September. Very short period of time. We're only about 90 days out from now in September. So what's going to happen between that now and then? First, unemployment. Unemployment's going to surge out of control. I have been predicting this for weeks, and you said it's happening, I like. I told you no less than two weeks ago, jump in the live chat. We can do it right now again. Jump in the live chat. More or less, are there more or less employees at the checkout in your big box retailer this week than the month before? And the viewer said less or none. And I said, there we go. You're seeing the layoffs before I have the data from Wall Street. You were the eyes and ears. We learned how to do this before. We were talking about price of eggs in the market. I said, look at the price of eggs before I can report they went up. Well, you saw that a month ago. And I said, just wait to hear for the first corporate layoffs. They came from Tesla, the Memorial Day weekend, 10% of the workforce laid off. Then they started to grow 18%. 18%, that's enormous, from Coinbase and saying a hiring freeze and blaming it on the looming recession. Then I said, you know what? I'm going to look at that Thursday number. You are with me. You got to tune in every Thursday morning. Mornings LA live on air. Why? Because that Thursday morning unemployment number is so big. When we started the pandemic in March of 2020, the unemployment numbers in the United States were 200,000. Then we shot up to 1 million. So where should we be right now? Because we're not in the pandemic. We're not in lockdown. We should be at about 180. Two weeks ago, it came in at 200,000. Last week, I said, I'm predicting it's coming in at 230. 230,000 was my prediction. It came in at 229. How am I able to continually predict things so accurately? I predicted that a, res that I predicted that a recession is coming next year. I said last February. I was the only U.S. broadcaster to even say the word recession out of my mouth back in February. People looked at me like I was crazy. Now everyone's talking about a recession. I said that... Inflation will top 8% in December 2021 and be stagnant or go higher when the Federal Reserve said it was going to be 2 to 3% and temporary one month. I had it right again. I said that the CPI, the Consumer Price Index numbers, continue to go up because gasoline is going to continue to go up. And I also said gasoline is going to continue to go up. And that was all accurate. How am I able to do this? Because you are the eyes and ears of what's going on. You can report to me what you see. Then I look at the data. Then I put it all together. And I don't spin it with a sugar-coated top on it. I look and I say, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. This is what's going to happen. Where is the apologies out there? Where is the apologies out there? From the YouTubers who said, Took, put, put all your life savings in Dogecoin. And now it's worthless. To the YouTubers who said, go buy some Bitcoin on the dip because now it's at 30,000 and it, it's just a dip. It's going to go back right back up. It's now at less than 20,000 and it's likely to go to 15,000. Where's the apologies from those YouTubers? Where's the apologies from Jay Powell? Where's the apologies from Joe Biden? Where are the apologies from Wall Street analysts who said this economy is really well, that there's no layoffs, that the only part of this economy that's bad is the housing market? Where are their apologies? I had predicted that four, four parts of this economy would be really bad very quickly. Today, they're happening. They are housing, auto, travel and leisure, and hospitality. All four industries, which are buying cars, buying a home, taking a trip, or going to the restaurant, are all doing the same mistake, and they're all losing their shirts, and they're going to go bust. It's what we talk about is bubble-like talk. We saw this in the 1990s where people said, times are great, just keep on buying, everything's wonderful, bust, recession. So what's happening with all those four industries today? They are doing the following thing. Their costs are going up. And when they look at their costs going up, they say, I want the same profit that I had last year. I don't want to have less profit. I'm greedy. So if my costs are going to go up, I'm going to raise the product price up. And the consumer is going to be stuck with a higher price. Because I really want my same profits. I'm greedy. Wait a second. There's no one at the door trying to buy my product. Why is no one showing up to buy my product? Don't you want to buy the product? It's just, you know, it's just a few thousand dollars more of the product. It's Elon Musk. I'm raising my price. The car is $6,000, he said yesterday. Because my material costs are going up. Are you going to buy it? No, you're not. Why aren't you buying it? Because now I have to buy the car on a loan and I can't afford the car loan because Jay Powell raised the interest rates. Those industries are all going under. We already see that housing sales are down year to date dramatically and we see that mortgage applications are down the lowest levels in 20 years. Number two, when we look at auto, auto's down 15% and that was before those interest rates kicked in 
you go to buy a Tesla on the car loan, it's right on the website, you're not going to be able to afford it. When the interest rates have brought mortgage rates from 2%, 3% earlier this year to 5 and they're heading to 6 Number three, airlines. Airline bookings, I told you they're going to go down. You got off of lockdown. You deserved a celebration. You wanted to take a trip and you paid a fortune for Memorial Day weekend. You know, $500 round trip to visit, you know, Topeka. Topeka ain't worth $500 round trip. Uh, don't send me Topeka hate mail. Hate mail. Uh, but, you know, now you're saying, I'm not going to keep on doing $500 to Topeka. I will no longer do that. And guess what? The bookings are down. The airlines wanted to stick you with higher fuel costs. But you're not paying for it. And the bookings are down. And then finally, hospitality. Restaurants and bars are getting to become empty. They're going on air, the, the owners of the restaurants and the, and the hospitality crying on air, saying, I'm losing my shirt. Well, tough luck. Make less profit. Don't stack me with your higher costs. Make less profit and keep your doors open. They're not. They're closing the doors. They're losing their shirts. And that is why you have to get a force so much checking every U.S. state. Why does this impact you so much? So many reasons why. First, you're going to go buy the products, and the products will be higher. I believe inflation is going to stay high. Number two, the gasoline where it is right now is going to $10 a gallon. That's my prediction. I'll explain it to you in the second half of this video. Number three, the labor is so troubling. If you have a job, please do the following right now. I want you to get continuously planned lined up for if you're laid off. And the contingency plan is not thinking the federal government's going to bail you out. I want you to get ready for, is there a job next door? Is that employer financially stable? Have the, will they definitely keep their doors open if you get laid off? And don't go around being narcissistic or, or, or fake by saying, I want a salary raise, I want a hiring bonus. No one's getting that, get rid of that ridiculousness of 2021. It's God. Finally, understand that if you do not work or you're a retiree, the items we saw from previous landless packages are gone. PUA for independent contractors, gone. PEUC, extended weeks of unemployment, gone. FPUC, $600 on top of existing benefits, gone. Small business owner, EI deal grant, gone. EI deal loan, gone. And then um, anything else that we talked about with Build Back Better Act, you can't wait 90 days. You can't wait. I'm being very frank to you. I'm being very frank to you. This is going to be a very, very severe downward spiral between now and September. How bad is September going to be? September is going to look like day one of the lockdown of March 2020. Ouch. Remember how bad that was? Yes. The only great news, and this really is great news, is that that lockdown came with no pre-warning. You were told overnight you're going to lockdown, get prepared, and there you go. And then you had to struggle and search for money right away. That's why I came around and started this channel. This time around, you have a pre-warning. Me, you, this channel, this community. A pre-warning of 90 days out. It's June. And you have June, you have July, and you have August. But you're not going to wait 90 days. You're, gonna get, you're not going to wait nine weeks. You're not going to wait nine days. You're not going to wait nine hours. You're going to get that force to check in every U.S. state today. You have a pre-warning to get this money now so that you and your family, your household, your, 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 your beloved ones can survive the downward spiral of this economy between now and September. That's how I care for you. That's why I'm playing with strong words and a lot of tough love in this video to make very adamant that you need to get this money right today. The situation of this economy is going to be very severe in 90 days from now. Then phase three will be the recession. The recession will be in next year. I was the first to mention recession in the U.S. economy in February this year. Even to this day, some of the major banks do not want to say the word recession. Some of them do not want to say it's definitive. Some of them do not want to say it's longstanding. Some do not want to say that it's complete recession. Folks, it's going to be a horrific recession. And for them to stall it out, guess what they're doing? They're not allowing you to be financially prepared for an onset of a downward spiral for January. You need to be prepared. And in the second half of this video, we're going to get prepared. In the second half of this video, we're going to get those four summers checks in every U.S. state, number one. And then I'm going to go over those rays of your benefits. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and get that four summers check in every U.S. state. Between now and, and, and September, it's sort of like a walk in the park. 
you don't see a lot of people in the park looking for the stimulus. But when September comes around and then the tsunami of stimulus hits, the stimulus stampede hits and people say, I'm in big trouble. I need money. What do you got for me? Suddenly, the park is going to be very crowded. You don't want to wait for the downward spiral in this economy. You want to get this money right today. I love my viewers because you're so smart. I train you really well and you learn really well. I trained you over the last two years that to give money when times are good. Do not get times money when your, your back is against the wall. Do not wait till the last second to get money. Get it when times are good and then continue to get money. And these checks I found for you were the result of you asking me back in March. Ella, give me some checks. Give me lots of checks. And I did. As Kat says, you focus really well on eligibility. I really do because I want to make sure you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, you get them. Married couple, $150,000 less, you go get them. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, RRB, you go get them. Rent owned, children, not children, you go get them. Every U.S. state, you go get them. You don't wait five weeks. You don't wait five days. You don't wait five hours. You become a member. You get that newsletter. You pounce and get those checks. Moreover, you keep on getting checks over and over. We're going to go over that later in this video. Now, let's go to something that's very, very important, and it goes back to where this video started with. When Joseph Biden said that a recession is not inevitable, I said it is inevitable if you don't get gasoline replaced. Let's go over the situation today so you understand this analysis because, folks, it's very basic. It's not difficult to follow. And if you understand this, then you understand what will be happening to our economy between now and January. Let's go over the analysis right now. Inflation is caused by gasoline prices going up. And if gasoline prices go up, then inflation goes up. Let's go over the analysis starting right now. When Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine, shortly thereafter, the Western Allies banned Russian oil and OPEC Plus reduced production of gasoline. How much gasoline per barrels per day were removed from availability? 3.5 million barrels of gasoline per day gone. Still gone? Yes, it's 3.5 million barrels of gasoline missing per day. Okay. If you remove 3.5 million barrels of gasoline available per day, then there's a shortage. If there's a shortage, the price of gasoline goes up. Pretty simple, yeah. So what do you do? You go get 3.5 million barrels of gasoline right away if you're the rest and allies. Did they do it? No. Did they do it in March? No. Did they do it in May? No. Had they done it in June? No. Are they prepared to do it in July? No. They're not preparing to do anything with, the prime, with getting replacement of gasoline at 3.5 million barrels, and they aren't. The shortage increases, the price goes up, and how high is it going to go? To $10. Now, let's go over what absolutely empirically happens when gasoline goes up. When gasoline goes up, then inflation goes up, because inflation is determined by a lot of different benchmarks. But the Federal Reserve last week said it's using the benchmark of the CPI, Consumer Price Index, to determine what inflation is. The CPI is, when determining inflation, uses two numbers, gasoline and price of goods, like eggs and milk and things like that at the supermarket. So if gasoline goes up, the price of gasoline goes up, then the CPI, the Consumer Price Index number, goes up, hence inflation. Again, if gasoline goes up, then inflation, the CPI, goes up. And then what happens? J Powell comes in and says, oh, <laughs> inflation's higher. Inflation's not coming down. I got I to gotta raise interest rates. But J Powell doesn't work that way. Well, I'm just raising interest rates. Sip it. But Jay, it, uh, I'm just raising interest rates. Stop questioning what I'm doing. And he does it. And he does it again. And he keeps on doing it again. And suddenly you realize, wait a second. It's not reducing the price of gasoline. It will never reduce the price of gasoline, raising interest rates. And when everyone starts to realize that, guess what's already happened? You're in a recession. Done. And that is why Joe Biden's comments, is a recession inevitable? It is inevitable if you do not get a replacement of 3.5 million barrels of gasoline per day. It's very, very simple. It's very basic. A high schooler would understand this across the board. So... 
That's why you got to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over these incredible checks. Please do do me a favor. Go into this video right now. Do three things. One, subscribe. Go right on the video. Hit that subscribe button. Number two, hit that member link where it says join this channel and join and become a member right this second. And number three, get ready for the second half because we're going to go over those big four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Now that you understand where this economy is, now that you understand where this economy is going in the second half of this video, we're going to do the third thing, get checks. You need those checks because we're heading into a recession. We'll go over all those incredible checks, plus the raising of your benefits. Uh, a lifetime, it's all wonderful, great news. As America's Most Loved Show at the Midday continues, it's afternoons. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now for June 18th, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me on this weekend edition of Afternoons. I told you there's going to be a lot of breaking news, and there really is. Did you notice that the price of gasoline went down, international Brent crude and U.S. domestic unleaded on Friday? Did you notice that? Yeah, that's a little confusing. Let me explain what's going on. That basically stems from... A little bit of lockdown concerns over in China. Do not believe it's going to stay down indefinitely. It's been down for maybe 48 hours. It's not that long. Right before that, it was about 220, 221 the day before. So very, very quick uh, reversal. But don't get confused by that or think that anything that Jay Pao did uh, fix that because he doesn't get things right. Uh, in the second half of this video, we're going to go over these four symbols checks in every U.S. state. You're right. I am. Let's go get them. Single individual, 75000 less. Go get them. A married couple, $150,000 less annual income, go get them. Rent, own, go get them. Children without children, go get them. Young, old, go get them. On benefits, not on benefits, go get them. I'm very important. Eligibility is very important for me because I want to make sure so many of you get these checks. Number two, it's important that the checks are big sums of money. You need financial independence, and it starts with big sums of money. $600 checks, $400 checks, don't cut it. Don't cut it. You need $1,000 checks, tens of thousands of dollars of checks. And number three, you need to keep on getting checks. You're going to see later in this video, we're going to go over Margaret, Nisi, Mark, Lorraine, uh, and, and, a lot, and Johnny. These are viewers who continue to listen to the recordings where I say, get a check the next day, get another check, keep on getting checks, and keep on winning. If you've had a success story, post in the live chat because you inspire other people. And with that, we're going to start right now. In the month of March, viewers said, LA, can you find us some checks? And I found checks. By executive order from Joseph Biden and from the state, and they are huge, I'm laboring them in, in, in letters in order A, B, C. Uh, that is the lettering system only used on this channel, so it's not something Congress or the president or anyone else used. And let's look at all these incredible checks. You ready? Let's go. Here we go. Check A. Is it $6,500 or $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state? Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. If you uh, are benefits, go get it. It is astronomical. How do I get it, L.A.? 
Step one, subscribe to this channel. Go right in this video, hit the subscribe button. You cannot miss a single video from this channel or a single update because there's always new money and there's always breaking news. Step two, become a member. Go right on this video, hit the join button. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP member. If you're a member, you're in the live chat, you have that beautiful hawk emoji behind your name. And step three, get that membership newsletter delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go right down in that membership newsletter till you find the check A. Click the link. It'll tell you a little bit more about check A. Click the link. It sends you into the nationwide website. Then choose your state. Then choose the homeowner's weatherizing grant and pounds. Go get it. And it's absolutely wonderful. It's wonderful. But you're not going to stop there yet. You're going to go get check B. Check B is a fifteen dollars to $80,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. That wonderful for stimulus check in every U.S. state is astronomical. Look at these payouts. Viewers of this channel are tracking at $66,000 to $80,000. How do you get that check B? Single individual, $75,000 or less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less. Go get it if you are on benefits. Go get it. Step one, become a member. Step two, go write down that membership newsletter. And step three, go apply for that wonderful check. Also become a member. Also subscribe. When you go down that membership newsletter, you find check B. You click the link. You go right in and you see the nationwide website. You choose your state and you go in and pounce. Now, the membership newsletter is very specific. It actually sends you right into places. And it's not like it's a version or a, par a paraphrase or a sort of or, or a, a resemblance of how you do it. You do exactly the way I do it. For example, let me just use, this is something brand new today for afternoons. Yesterday, uh, for check A, someone said something in one of the chats uh, for the weatherizing. I picked up the phone and called. No, no, no. You're supposed to go into the newsletter and click and go in and apply. Another person said for the weatherizing, I, I went online and looked it up and it's closed. Uh, and for that state, it's actually open. That person was looking at another grant that looks similar. They often look similar, but they're not the same. That's why you do exactly what I say in the video. You go right down the newsletter, you click the link, and you go right and apply. You don't do a version of what I'm saying in the recording. It ain't going to work. Step three, get a ch wonderful check C. Check C was first called on this channel Purple, then became Third Simus, and is now called Check C. We've been doing this for a long time. I've gotten viewers over $50 million from this channel. Why? Because you are very smart, you listen and learn, and you follow instructions really well. For Check C, you're going to go down that membership newsletter. First, you're going to become a member, you know that, and subscribe. Then you're going to go down in the membership newsletter to find Check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. It also says what not to say. <laughs> you don't call up and say, hey, I want that check C. Excuse me, what are you talking about? Check C, that C's candy? We don't have, we don't have candy here. C's, what, C? What? <laughs> no, you say, you do exactly what's in the membership newsletter. Because other people, otherwise people are not going to understand what your world you're talking about. It tells you what to say, how to say it, and where to say it. Now, these incredible check C's have had success stories on this channel for just years. We first got this money back in 2020. We got more of it in 2021. I featured on every single video. I don't need to repeat it again, but look at these success stories. $30,000 of rent, would you want it? Go get it. That's what they got for check C. How about um, $15,000 for utilities? Mark's brother-in-law got it. Go get it yourself. And then, snap, Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year over 10 years. So that's a quarter million dollars. Go get check C. Combos, whoa, Nisi at $23,000. She keeps on getting check C's all the time. Every few days, she's nearly at 50000 Mark's doing the same thing. He keeps on getting these other checks. He went from 32000 to 50000 to 100000 He got check B for 66000 He went to one sixty six. Lorraine, she's in all the live chats. She keeps on getting money. She was at one oh five, Then she went to one twenty. She's probably around one forty five right now as well. So three things you need to do right this minute. Go under this video. Hit that subscribe button. You can't miss a video. L8 is the number three most watched financial news channel in America. And while this economy is going to hell in a hell basket in 90 days, what else is happening in the next 90 days? L8 is changing. Everything you love on this channel will have more of it and in a way that you're going to be very, very excited. And that's why you're going to see more of me in a way that is even better than it is right now. It's coming in 90 days. You can't miss a single video because I give you the analysis of where recession, inflation, unemployment, the economy, your money, housing, auto, labor is... And I get it right.
And I don't just give you the analysis one week out. I give you the analysis six months ahead of time. And I get it right. Number two, become a member. Go right to this video. Hit that membership link to get this newsletter. Number three, there's a little bell at the front of this channel. Hit that bell to make sure notifications are set to all on. Amidst all these wonderful forced checks in every U.S. state, we also have wonderful news of your benefits going up. Your benefits will are confirmed as now going up, and wow, it's wonderful. If you're a member, it's in the membership newsletter. Why? It's a little complicated to digest in watching a video, and it may be a little overwhelming because it's a little bit elaborate, a little bit complicated, a lot of numbers. And so while I repeat in the videos, it's also the membership newsletter so you can follow along. It's under fist stimulus. Let's go over what's happening. Your benefits is getting two major news stories that are wonderful this week. The first one I'm going to go over and then the second one. The first one is the Social Security's chief actuary, Stephen Goss, confirms that your COLA this fall will likely come in around 8%. That's a quote from him. That means your benefits go up 8% next year, not a lifetime, not just one month, not just one year, but a lifetime. That, my friends is SS300. That's $300 more per month. Congratulations, it's happening. Now, where is this going? Well, I'm going to show you that I believe the number could be even higher. Higher would mean potentially $350, maybe even $400 a month more, depending on how much benefits you get. Why? Goss says that he believes that your COLA in December will come in at 8% based upon the number that came from that CPI, not yesterday, but the Friday before. That CPI, two Fridays ago, came in at 8.5%. It was high. Showed inflation was still going up. It was a spook number. Wall Street was looking at 8.3%, it was 8.5%. He says that based upon that number, he's projecting out, it's an analysis, projecting out that COLA is 8%. How is he doing the analysis? He's doing the analysis the following way. COLA is determined by the CPI-W released in the following three months, July, August, and September every year. So based upon what happened two weeks ago, he is predicting what he thinks is going to happen with the number in July, August, and September. What is CPI-W? It's a subsection of CPI. So CPI is high in July, August, and, and September, then the CPI-W is going to be high. Now, where is the analysis correct or potentially undervaluing it? The Seniors League of America, which is a nonprofit organization, says that based upon the looking at the same data, which is the CPI from last two weeks ago, they believe that the COLA latest this year will be 8.6%, not 8%. Myself, looking at the same data, I believe that the COLA will be 9%. Why? And I think you can do this analysis with me very easily as well. And we already did it early in this video. If the CPI is determined based upon where gasoline prices is, are, which it is, and if gasoline prices do not go down by the month of July, at the moment there's no indication they will because there's no deal to get 3.5 million barrels of gasoline, then gasoline stays as high as it is right now or higher. And if that's the case, the CPI goes higher, the CPI-W stays high, CPI-W stays high for July. What about August and September? Well, Jay Powell's tools are not working in August because they don't even have meetings. And whatever he does in July will not be felt in this economy until September. And I don't even think what he's doing is going to bring down the price of gasoline. <laughs> so with that, the takeaway is that your CPI-W will be high in the month of July, August, and September. Your COLA will also then likely be higher than 8% later this year. That is why I believe it's going to be closer to 9%. That would bring your benefits closer to a wonderful, wonderful uh, 300 to 350 more per month per year. Wow. We'll feature more about this tonight on Evening's LA. But here's what you need to know. Here's what you need to know as we go into a big afternoon is that the money at issue is available today. You can't wait to get that money. And you can't wait because inflation is going higher and recession is looming. Tonight on Evening's LA at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, we have a brand new broadcast and we'll be going over that data as well. 
What you need to do right now is subscribe and become a member. Get that incredible newsletter and go right on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Have a beautiful afternoon and stay with LA for more.